Hello everyone, this is Java Monk. This is Deadly Zero. And welcome back to a Tech It Classic series. So, behind me, um, I caught a turtle in a cage. Check him out. Just running around. Yep, we got wow. a very a very active turtle. But I mean, don't even need to feed him or anything. Just whatever you do, don't tap on the glass. What happens if I tap on the glass? Well, you might break the glass, then it'll escape. And then oh, okay. Who knows what kind of monstrous things that this turtle can do? So, right. what's the plan today, Daedalus? So today, I uh, I think we should expand operations. I know we're tired of mining, and honestly, I think mining is a very vanilla Minecraft thing to do anyway. So we're gonna make some machines to do that for us. Sounds good. I mean, yeah. We literally only went mining once off camera. <laughs> Right. For about, for about three hours. <laughs> but... And that's enough for me, I think. Okay. So, let's never mine again. Oh, yeah. yeah. I accidentally placed sticky resin in front of the door, so... Oh, okay. I'll put it back there then, I guess. Yeah, check Check this out. Um, let me just... Oh, let me just grab some cobblestone. Check it out. It kind of acts, like acts like a honey block. Like, I can't jump up on a block when I'm standing on this thing. Pretty cool. Wow. All right. Um, first item we'll need for a quarry, which is what we're going to be using, by the way, is to make a quarry. So go ahead and like open up not enough items and just check the ingredients for a quarry. We should have enough in there to build them. Oh, right. So we need an iron gear, a couple gold gears, some diamond gears, a diamond pickaxe. Oh wow, diamond pickaxe is worth a lot of EMC. Yes. Three diamonds worth of EMC. And two sticks. That makes sense. Yeah, we should have a diamond pickaxe there, plus enough diamonds for this, plus some gears. Um, That's a lot of stone. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> might want to convert some uh, some of that stone into iron. I think you'll need a bit, a bit more iron. Actually, yeah. Yeah, I think we're going to need a lot more iron. Which means we need a metric crap ton of sticks. Whoa, 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 crap. Yeah, we, we can use crap. Okay, okay. We can use crap, just not just not anything worse. Okay. And the reason I the reason I use crap is because otherwise it'll trigger the it'll trigger YouTube's uh, kids feature and it'll think that the video's made for kids. So <laughs> yeah. So it it's a balancing act, okay? It's Okay. <laughs> It's a it's a very careful balancing act. Yeah, <laughs> sure it is. Um, oh, I'm gonna need to make something to power this thing. So while you're doing that, I'm going to go gather materials for something else. Sounds good. All right, diamond pick, two diamond gears, two gold gears, three iron gears, and a redstone. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. What's wrong? We used the diamond pick. A used diamond pick doesn't work for the query. <sighs> okay, well, transmute more diamonds, I suppose. There should be enough tin dust down there to make one more diamond or two. Uh, oh, you're going to need three diamonds. Hmm. Yeah. And I've been using the... I've been converting some of the sapphires into into irons, which I could use the Philosopher's Stone to turn into gold and then into diamonds. Mm-hmm. So, I guess I can just keep doing that. Alright. So annoying that the query... The query doesn't even work on a, on a partially used diamond pick. Mm. Just, just why? I think this this was this was before I think you can actually use use tools in the crafting tables. Oh well, at least we still have a, a diamond pick. Yes. Okay. Okay. It's all done. And that consumed quite a bit of our supply of the sapphires and stuff like that. So. Okay. Oh. Is made. Nice. Okay. Let me head down there. Um, actually, so 
let me talk. Let me let's sleep first, and I'll tell you about two more things that I uh, I want you to make. All right. So, the query is like a um um. It it's a thing that's kind of like the base rate of it. Um no. It so it's it's based on another mod. Um, okay. and that mod is the that is that mod is the one with the. I think it's actually red power. I, I forget. I forget which mod it is, but it is the mod that is a mod that uses the pumps for powering things, kind of like transport pipes. So we're going to need those. One alternative, though, is that we use an energy link, but I'm told that those are kind of risky on multiplayer. They may bug out and blow up. And that energy uh, energy link allows us to transfer power from things such as you know wind turbines, geothermal. Um, oh. Generators and solar panels into that, but um, I don't. I don't want to risk. I wouldn't want to risk it, and I've never actually used steam engines before, so this would be interesting. Um, okay. So have you built a few? Uh, so two more things I want you to do. Um, so quarries tend to. Uh, I um, actually have no idea. Two or three, maybe okay. for now. Um, but another thing I want you to build. So quarries like just mine things. They don't really care what's beneath them. They just mine it. You know, they can mine obsidian, but oh, nice. You know, they'll clear out an entire area wherever you want it to be. So that means they'll also mine a ton of dirt and stone. Okay. Now, dirt and stone is you know kind of useless. Traditionally, what you do is you you send this into a energy condenser. You know, the chest that we've been using to convert things and just convert it to something more useful. Makes sense. But there's something else that can be used. Um, that that can take this thing in. Um, I'm working on the power for the thing, but the thing I want you to build is a recycler. Okay. Yeah, I'll introduce you to what the recycler does uh, when, after you build it. Um, and then another thing I'm going to need you to do is because we don't want to actually just dump anything in the recycler, we just want the dirt and stone, um, I need you to build some diamond transport pipes. Those will let you filter, filter this stuff. Specifically, just the stone and the dirt. Alright, you got it. Oh, do you need more iron? Yeah. Okay, um, I'll bring down some more iron. Sounds good. I'm gonna need a bunch more iron. Like, how much more? Um, the whole supply. Oh, the whole supply? Um, however much we have right now. Just it, It'd be useful to bring it down here because this is where we have the exchange stuff. Okay. Honestly, it, it's it's just it's annoying that we have so many that we have the storage system just all over the place. We yeah, I find that annoying too. Yep. Um, luckily, if we ever get I don't know electrified rail so that us go up and down faster, maybe a teleporter. That could, it'll be a be lot too. faster. But yes, for now I'm just gonna we're gonna have to ferry things back and forth. Yep. Alright, got a query and a recycler. Alright, got it. Give me a give me a few. I need to just build a few more things. A few what? Uh, you will see. Also, do what sort of power do we need for the recycler? Um, I'm working on that. Mm -hmm. mm, five. Oh, did I swap these? I think, ugh, I think I did. Okay, that's all of them. And then I need some wire. Um, is it ultra low current? Do we have a spare diamond? We have one diamond. We have one diamond, and we're going to need that, I'm sure. Actually, wait. Put it. Put it in the um, in the energy condenser. Hold on. I'm gonna I'm gonna make iron and then use the philosopher stone. Sure. That should be enough to make a diamond. Okay. I, I have enough in my inventory. No. Yeah. Okay. I just need one. Oh, what am I doing? I have glass in here too. I don't really need that either. Oh, let's sleep. <laughs> we spent an entire Minecraft day working on this. There we go. Thanks. 
cool. Okay, let me just make this. One, two, three, four, five, six. You have a wrench with you, right? Um, just in case. Uh, we yep. probably won't need it, but... Yep. You know, just okay. in case. Okay. So what do I need to take with me? Uh, just the quarry, the recycler, the pumps. Um, maybe some transport pipes, the diamond transport pipe. Excuse me. Oh, uh, a piece of stone and a piece of dirt. Okay. There um, we go. Excellent. Now, give me a quick second. Oh, I've noticed, by the way, that our alchemical bags did not clear. So that means that we are safe to keep it throughout. Yes, we are. Yes. Okay. Um... Oh, I might need another diamond. It's fine. It's fine. I have enough. Okay. Oh. A little bit more, I guess. Yeah, there you go. That's another diamond. Just put the diamond up here. And grab glass. And I'll be off. One, two, three, four, five, six. Two. Okay. I'm a big fan of these cables. All right, let's go. Alrighty. All right, so I've I've scouted out a great spot for our quarry over here. Um, All right. So. Okay. Gonna tear down a mountain. Yeah, uh, something like that. We're gonna tear down half a hill, and uh, but more importantly, we're gonna do this over a lake. So remember how I said the okay. quarry mines anything? Yeah. Well, it doesn't get rid of liquids like water and lava. Um, okay. So we can use that. To our advantage, when there's lava in the way, we can just, you know, have the quarry resting on a pool of water, so when the water touches the lava, it turns into obsidian, and it'll take the obsidian. Okay. Yeah. Sounds um, good. So, I've marked out, like, a kind of a two, uh, four chunk area for us to mine for start. It's kind of small for a quarry. You can actually do four times as big, um, like a uh, 16 chunk area. Um, okay. You take those. So what I just gave you are landmarks. Landmarks are kind of strange. If you put them next to a source of redstone power, they'll project like a little line. Um, and the idea is that you want to make a kind of box with them. Okay, doke. Um, you just have to make sure that they're in line with each other. Now I've marked out the two chunk area. So uh, sorry, the four chunk area. Here is one corner. Okay. And then the other corner is over in this direction. Okay. I, I kind of like this. I kind of like this hill with the cave underneath it, so I don't, I don't really want to, I kind of don't want to destroy that, but, um, so this is the, so is the, this the other one? Uh, no, the other one's over here. It's right here. It's this one. Ah, perfect. Yeah, so we're not going to be destroying that, but, so it's from Good. this block all the way to that block you see in the sand over there. Don't confuse it with this other block that I've set aside down here. Um, okay. That's for something else. But yeah, so, so this is one. So make sure your landmarks um, enclose that area. So the it should be including these cobblestone blocks. So like landmark here? Um, uh, put down the redstone torch first, and then put the landmark there. And yes, that's a good spot for a landmark. Just make sure that um, your landmarks are all in the same area, by the way. Or in the same level, I mean. Ah, okay. Yeah. So good thing I brought some cobblestone with me. Yes. And I gave you four, so you're going to need to um, connect them. Nice. This thing, this looks kind of cool. Yeah. We're okay. getting into the heavily modded stuff now. Nice. I'm gonna save yeah. the Y coordinate of this just in case. Of course. Okay. Y coordinate of this torch is 74. Okay. You could like, con um, oh, well, I guess. If you run up that hill, Hold on. I was gonna, I was gonna mm -hmm. work out the diagonal corners first. Oh, okay. That's fine. Seventy-four. Landmark and torch. Just landmark after. There we go. Um, you put it right on top of the cobblestone block, did, or did you? Yeah, it's it should be lined up vertically, right? Uh, no, you want to be enclosing the cobblestone blocks. It should be like on the outside corner. Ah. Yeah. Okay. Let's just move it back one. Okay. Yep. Alright. I'm going to go ahead and just place the last two landmarks. Yep. 
That makes it makes it super easy to line up because it's literally just at the corners. Right. Okay. So I just place the I'll, I'll just place the landmarks right at the intersection points. Yes. Okay. Perfect. Bam. And last one. Ow. Over here. All right, All right got, a, got our area. Now, pick one landmark. Oh, your torches aren't inside of the area, right? Oh, no, they're not. Okay, good. Um, actually, you might want to move the torch that's over there, the, where I'm gesturing towards, that one towards the outside. Okay. Yeah, and just replace the landmark there, um, just in case. I'm actually not sure if you even need to keep the landmarks powered after we have this started, but uh, maybe. Okay. Hmm. I can't actually break the landmark. That's interesting. Oh, okay. Oh, there we go. Now I can break yeah, it. Yeah, no, it's got a weird hitbox. Hmm. Very weird. Yeah. You have some cobblestone pipes with you, right? Yep. Okay, Lots. excellent. That That's perfect. That's just what we, just what we need. Probably don't need a lot, but um, it's it's nice to have, depending on how we want to set this up. Okay. So okay. Now so now we pick one landmark, and you'll put the quarry right next to it. Okay. Might as, might as well do it in line with the hill there, so we can easily access it, right? Right. Alrighty. Okay, so this one right here? Yes. Quarry, like, here? Yep. Okay. Um. Uh, that's odd. Uh. Did I face it the wrong way? Oh, oh, oh. Um, we need to activate the landmarks. Right click one of Right click this landmark over here. I just did. Oh, oh uh, there it is. Alright, we, we got go. a red line. Okay. Uh, sorry, to, sorry, remove the core and you just put it back down. Uh, do you bake it with a wrench or with the... No, 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 this is a different thing. You just use pickaxe. Perfect. Perfect. There we go. Alright, you can collect the landmarks now. Um, and we'll move on to step two. Oh, it broke the landmarks. Yes. Brilliant, okay. Can you get the other two corners? Yes, I will. In fact, we should probably the... transition into iron chests now. Okay. Did you also collect the torches? Yes. Good. Oh, the... My bad. Still torches. Okay. Yeah. We should probably transition these um, large chests into uh, iron chests. Okay. Later, though. We can work on efficient storage uh, methods later. Yeah. Why are the quarries running? Yes. All right. Here it is. So actually, no. Uh, before we start powering it, let's start with um, let's start with actually having a way to pump items out of this. All right. So yeah. wooden transport pipe. Yes. Oh, you don't need a wooden transport pipe. It, it will automatically put it through. So you can have one, but it, it won't do anything. So just yeah, go ahead and pump it to a diamond pipe, and then have the diamond pipe filter out a uh, stone, cobblestone, and dirt into a recycler. Okay. How do you? How do you do these so so the colors here tell you uh, which um, so if you put an item into the the color that will tell you that will like allow I, that will filter out items into that output so first connect two pipes one for your cobblestone and dirt and another for everything else uh, um, there you go okay that one's the yellow one okay right. okay. So cobblestone, dirt, regular stone? Um, just in case, I guess. Okay. There's no harm in doing that, I suppose. Okay, that works. And then, and then have that pipe in the other, and then have another pipe sticking out, and that pipe will be for everything else. Okay, the green. 
Sure. Do we need to put anything in the green flap? Um, no. I don't think so. Okay, that works. Yeah, everything every yeah, every everything else that does not belong in like in, in yellow, it will just output to another color. Cool. Okay, so just not on the sides. Um probably put it through the top of the recycler. Ugh. Yeah. Shift click can't even shift click. There we go. Oh, okay. uh the color changed now by the way. I know. I'm changing that. Okay. Okay. And plop into the cycler. Alright. Okay. Uh this thing says says it uses like EMC. Is that uh I'm I'm sorry? The recycler? Oh, the recycler? It uses uh EU, right? Oh, uh, EU, uh, yeah. Yes, so EU is the power that we've using there. And this is what I've been saving my time for. Um Find a way to get outflow chest while I uh get an outflow chest over here while I do this. Get like an iron chest or something. Okay, sounds good. Yeah. We should have enough EMC there. Um, I'm just going to set this up real quick. Bang. And shabam. Okie doke. What are you building? You'll see. I know I've been saying that a lot, but seriously, you'll see. Okay. It doesn't actually need to be this high. Oh, it's actually kind of wasteful that it's this high. Oops. Can I start powering the quarry now? Um, yeah. Go ahead and connect up the steam engines just, you know, towards the quarry. Um, I actually never used steam engines, so this will be interesting. Okay. Yeah, these can also be powered with redstone without exploding, apparently. Oh, yes, absolutely. Um, just redstone is very slow. Well, that should be fine, right? Yeah. Oh, but they also use like actual furnace fuel. Okay. Yeah. Use lava too. Is it okay if I have the steam engine in the corner like this and put the yellow and black lines? Um, where? I have a steam engine at the corner of the yellow and black lines. Oh no, it's going to destroy that. I think. Ah. Yeah. Okay. I forgot that I'm control clicking, not shift clicking. Should I just replace all these steam engines with redstone engines? What? I don't know. I'm sorry, it what? Seems, it seems we're gonna be. It seems using like furnace fuel for this is kind of wasteful. Is it? No. I mean, consider it's a lot we have faster. Red... This is the thing. Okay, recycler is powered. There we go. Okay. I have no idea what it's doing right now. I can get some coal ready. Yes. Okay. Charcoal, 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 and charcoal. All right. I can see it building right now. Observe. Oh. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Oh, it's actually building stuff. Yeah. So this is going to basically fence out our quarry. You can go ahead and go past me if you want. Um, for now. As it does this, it destroys blocks. So. Oh, okay. There's that. Hmm. Neat. What and happens you can if you break these much blocks? Um, I don't think you... Oh, can you? I think it just replaces them. Okay. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> you can see it building on the other side, too, from here. 
Yeah, and basically for now the thing will just run. Um, I don't know how long a stack of charcoal will last. Enough, I hope. Um, but yeah, oh, we need to work on our um, everything else chest. Okay, okay. Yeah. Yeah, probably. <laughs> yeah, I think one iron chest is probably not going to be enough. Yeah. That's interesting. Oh, oh it, uh, yeah, yeah, it, it cleared out this this level already. It's going to clear out the rest of this, don't worry. Okay, one of the no, it's one of the transfer pipes accidentally connected with the with this engine, so we'll yeah, all right. Um, and we can build we can build more iron chests too, or whatever the upgrade to iron chest is. Oh, it's a gold chest. Do we have gold? Oh, we have plenty of gold, don't we? Uh, no, we don't. We only have enough. Um, we only have plenty of gold if we convert. Ooh, okay. Hmm, that's tricky. Oh, uh, by the way, if you were wondering what I was building, come up here. Oh, it's one of these solar panel. Yes, is it it's one a of solar, these solar panel, panel thing. things. Yes, and then th this is my favorite wire. It is one of the more expensive wire. Um, it's like it takes one diamond for per four units. Yeesh. Yeah, but this is this is one of the basically lossless. Um, you'll never zap yourself, etc. Kind of things. And this is actually way too much energy than you actually need. But also the recycler's not running, so we'll see how it goes once the recycler go, uh, goes full power. Alrighty. In fact, we might want to overclock the recycler. Okay, how do we overclock this thing? We need to put a over. We need to build an overclocker upgrade. Alright, that takes. And then put it in one of the four slots on the right side. And it takes coolant cells, which takes a water cell, which takes an empty cell, which takes tin. Okay. And we have plenty of tin. Okay, let's do that. Mm -hmm. We have it. Yeah, we have an extractor already, because that's how we're making rubber, right? Yes. So we'll have to head back to the sky base. That works. Yep. All right. While the ah, quarry is doing our thing. Oh, actually, you can see it right here. Look. Oh wait, where are you? I'm. Um, hold on. Figuring out how to spend. Okay. Yep. And you, seeing... you can see it building these orange things up. Yep. And it's going to it's it's say goodbye to these trees. They're they're not going to be here. Very soon. Mm. Well, there's going to be a single block of wood, I think. Yep. That's like outside of the range. It's weird that none of the. It, it's weird that none of the wood is coming through into the chest. Oh. I'm, it's possible because I built the built the pipes wired. Oh, wow. Um, I don't think so. I think it, it could output through the bottom. I'm not exactly sure why it's not. I mean, even if it doesn't have an output, it should start outputting... Do it should just drop it somewhere. I don't... I, I'm, I'm, sh I'm pretty sure you do not need wood. Pipes. I'm gonna try it anyway. Okay. Ooh, it's already oh. turning green. Yeah, it's turning green. Don't worry though, one stack should not cause it to explode. I'm pretty sure steam engines can't explode no matter what you do. Oh no, they totally can. They can overheat. Which ah. means they, they won't explode, but I'm pretty sure they just destroy themselves. So yeah, yeah, I guess you can't they can't just, uh, they can't explode. I'm watching it clear out that mountain there in the distance. It's actually pretty cool. Hmm. Once it finishes building this cage, by the way, uh, you'll see you'll see the actual operation. And it just finished building the cage. You'll see like the the stripe lines disappeared. Yep. Yep. Okay. Okay. Um, and you put down wood pipe there. Oh, it's actually oh. opening things. Yeah, you see that, right? Oh wow! It looks yes. like a 3D printer. Yeah. And it's just going to destroy these blocks one at a time. And you can see it actually outputting dirt. Look, we can watch this machine in action. Awesome! Yeah, so now it's outputting dirt. Um, Sweet. I mean, we should have it filtered through gray. And we'll see the recycler in action too. Um, before we go up and overclock this recycler. Wow. Okay, through this, here. This thing looks seriously cool. It, like, it, le it legitimately looks like a 3D printer. <laughs> yep. That is... That is crazy cool. Yeah. I mean, I've seen, like... 
I've seen videos where people talk about like in industrial mod, and mm -hmm. I thought I always thought they like I don't know. I just never thought I'd be actually seeing this in person. This is this is nuts. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I'm I'm very new to this. Okay, I'm. I'm... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, <laughs> okay, okay. It's yeah. fair. I'm... Yeah. But in, in case you were wondering why I was pestering you to um to build this, this is why. Um, so the recycler is functioning right now, but we're also going to need a. I, I took the, I took your wooden pipe out, sorry. Um, okay. And we're going to need to pump that out uh, to a chest as it makes scrap. It's not a guaranteed chance to make scrap, by the way. Um, it's like a one in eight chance, I think. That works. Yeah. So we're going to need to also pop the scrap out into just another chest. A wooden chest would be fine. Oh, look, a piece of scrap right there. Ooh, nice. Yes. And if you combine nine of them into a box, you can you can open them for a chance of items. You can also make fertilizer. One of which is an item that you'll need to make your favorite item in the game. Or in the vanilla ball. Minecraft at least. The slime ball. Oh, oh no. Um Oh, and it's also a faster furnace fuel. Yes. Um we we're we're running into an issue. What's the issue? Uh um, so when it's processing dirt, it can't accept stone. Ah. <sighs> okay. I see. So we need to make multiple recyclers. Multiple, yes. It's all right, though. This should this bat box is barely going down, so we should totally be able to fund more recyclers. Sweet. If you just like, if you just put another recycler like here-ish. Or maybe back here, that should be enough. Yeah, I think I think we can put oh. a recycler there, and that way. Uh, that I'm not can... so I'm not so confident about there because that's where the input to the bat box is. I'm like unless I like shift, I can shift the bat box like back all the way back here. So I guess that works. Um, yeah, I guess we can put the recycler there. That way we can. Yeah. That, that way we can still output. No, 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 no. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna shift this bat box back. I'm just gonna shift this back. Yeah, I, w I wanted to put it here so that way we can output. We can pump both out at the same time. Okay, don't don't mind me, I guess. Um, one, two. Okay, there you go. That should, that should work. Oh my gosh. Okay, well... <laughs> this is, a. Uh... Oh, we got ten. Oh, actually, you know what? Hold on. We might as well, I must introduce you to the loot box mechanic, yeah? Okay, Let, let's make another recycler first. That way we can... That, that way we don't have to stand next to it and pick up all the stuff. Okay. We're industrializing. This is exciting. Yeah. We're gonna industrialize before we ever get a piece of armor. <laughs> this, this, Who this needs helmet, armor? This helmet I'm wearing, that, that <laughs> came from a zombie. <laughs> Excellent. I never crafted. <laughs> We're not gonna actually craft our armor. Nope. Who needs armor? Exactly. <laughs> armor just for cowards. We die like men. We don't die like men. We we industrialize we industrialize <laughs> the heck out of those zombies and those zombies and skeletons. <laughs> All right, recycler. Right. Fascinating how it's barely even overheating. It's only blue right now. Okay. It's moving decently fast. Look at how many layers it's cut. It's cut three layers down, but I mean, there's there's not like much blocks for it to cut though. Also, could you imagine this is not the maximum size for a quarry? I can actually imagine that pretty well. It's... Yes. And... This is only 32 by 32, when the maximum size is 64 by 64. That's absurd. So four times this area. <laughs> Alright, All right, got another cycle going? Yeah, perhaps you should have. Oh, so you have like dirt in one side and stone in the other. Excellent. I think it might be more efficient in terms of stone pipes if you just have the diamond pipe like, if you just had another diamond pipe right here. Nah. This is I fine. Feel that. Okay. Yeah. This no, is. I kind of, I kind of like the look of having pipes that just go all over the place. <laughs> all right. And we. That's fair. And we 100% need, um, we definitely need to overclock the recyclers, because they Absolutely. 
Thing Especially when, when we when we when this thing starts to get into actually like below the water level, it's just going to have a constant stream of blocks coming in. Yep. Yeah. Which so also let's, means, let's... Sorry, which also what? means we should have we need to do this. Yes. Speaking of which, do you yeah. Okay, let's let's just get a redstone pipe for for it to pump stuff out. Yep. Oh, um yep. Okay. Complication about the wooden pipe. It only has one input. Wait, really? Yes. But it connects to both. It connects to both, which means that it will take out from one and try to put it into the other. Oh, snap. Yes, but like you're putting it into the sides, which it can't put in, so it's going to just um, pop out. Mm -hmm. Yes. Gotcha. Okay. So I need to make two engines. Yep. Oh! Uh... <laughs> Uh, there's one more ma bulk material that I forgot about. Actually, there's two more. What is it? Gravel and sand. Oh, well. I mean, we can keep that for now, I suppose. But yeah, let's let's just keep that. Okay. There's not gonna, there's not going to be very much of it. Yes. So, not a big deal. So where's the chest going? Right there. At the end of that pipe. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, can't shift click. Yeah. That is the most annoying part. Yeah. The inability to shift click. You can shift click. No, you can't. I've, I've tried that several times. Like. Wait, wait, wait. What's your shift key? Uh, shift. Yeah. W oh, that's weird. I can shift click. Here, like, watch. Give me a pipe. All right. Um. So, like, here. Let me just destroy all these blocks. Shift click against the chest. Yeah. Can't shift click. Yeah, yeah. I'll just bleep it or something. I don't see, know. Have, yeah, I'm, I can't shift click. You see, I'm That's not weird. going insane. <laughs> I thought I thought I shift clicked earlier. That's weird. No, you didn't. All right. Well, you, anyway, you've wasted, here, you've wasted against the block and you did it so casually that you didn't even realize you were doing it. Yeah. Okay. Well, here. So, um, so grab nine scrap and craft a loot box. All right. <laughs> Let me introduce you to the loot box mechanics here. Scrap box. It's a mechanic that Fortnite would shamelessly steal three years earlier. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Alright, go ahead and right click it. Right click it. You got rotten flesh, congratulations. Nice. <laughs> yeah. These stack, Anyways, right? it's got like a chance to grab useful items. Um, These things stack, right? Yes. Good. Okay. Yep, we definitely need to overclock these. Of course. In fact, we might as well now, right? Yep. We have right. what we need. We're here, so yeah. just need a water bucket and a coolant and a cell. I've got a water bucket. I'm gonna I'm gonna make some cells. <laughs> I got a grass block. Like an actual grass block? Yes. <laughs> nice. Heck yeah! All right, this is this is going in my alchemical bag. Wait, so how, how'd you get an actual glass block? What, what do you mean, uh, how did I get an actual glass block? Oh, like... Like this thing? Oh, yeah, okay. That That's cool. That is legitimately cool. We, we don't have silk <laughs> touch yet, so that's amazing. Yeah, <laughs> we have grass blocks without silk touch. Yay! Yeah, alright. This, this, this goes in my personal bag. Absolutely. The first... The first grass block. Yeah. We are now playing Minecraft. <laughs> Uh oh, your dog's mad at something. Oh, is it? Oh, it's mad at you because you punched me. Oh, whoops. Is it is it charging at you or is it just angry? Nope, it's just growling. Oh, okay. Huh. Strange. How do you? Right, how do you make a? Okay. Need an empty cell and a water bucket. I have a water bucket. Actually, Ready? here we might as well get one of these things for now. Can you pass me the? Can you pass me your water bucket? One moment. The, the, this this will make things a little bit easier, and we can move these around. I'm I'm pretty sure they don't break. In fact, we're gonna we're gonna use this a lot later. Here, observe. That is a tank. You put liquids in here. Each nice. each each point of liquid is like one tier. So there you go. That's two two points of liquid in there. Nice. 
this will be useful when we start pumping lava out into a geothermal generator for tons of energy. And we could just store up the lava and then have it pump from here into the geothermal thing. That's awesome. Yes. The the main pr challenge of this, and what I spent a lot of the last time I played Tech it doing, was um, getting waterproof pipes, because you need like cactus green for that. Okay. Which, I mean, luckily, we have cactus. Yep. Also, yeah, we might might as well might as well make like automatic some kind of automatic uh, pumpkin and all that time. Yeah. They should probably make two of these overclock upgrades, shouldn't they? Yes. In fact, you can make multiple of them. Oh. If you re if you recall from the UI on the recycler, there are actually four slots. Okay. Yeah, I guess what you can put in all four slots. Wouldn't that be kind of dangerous? Um, possibly. Okay, cool. So you got your overclockers? Yep, two overclocker upgrades. One for yeah. each recycler. One for each recycler? We could use more than two for each recycler. Oh, um, I want you to notice something, by the way. Well, I need one for each recycler. What? Oh, okay. Um, here, hold on, watch this. Look at, look at one of the recyclers. Uh, yeah, the... The pipe pump isn't coming out. Yeah, no, no, no. Look at the other recycler. Em empty? Look. No. Look at look at what's look at what's in the slots. Oh, you stack them. Yes, you can stack them. So you can actually have up to. There's four of them. You can have up to sixteen. <laughs> mm. Um. Okay. So here's what each overclocker does. It speeds up operation. Um. By. Oh, I forgot a lot. Oh, yes. It speeds each one speeds up operation by I think um by 70%? No, 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 by I think yeah, no, by 70%. But it increases energy drain by um 60%. Okay. But that now, is keep... still barely <laughs> Yes. So so keep in mind, uh so here's some math for you. Um so increase it, at base value, um, the recycler uses one energy per tick. Okay. Um, the the overclocker increases this cost by sixty percent for each one exponential. Oh. Uh oh. What? Oh. I did you? Click the... Oh. I okay. Do I click the recycler? That's fine. I need to. I need to recharge my bench. Um, mm -hmm. yeah, I, I was gonna... Okay, so, uh, so, 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 as, as I, oh, did you just get rid of the bat box, too? Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to move it so I can... Can you break the, these wires with the, with the pick? You can just break it with your fists, yes. No. okay, good. Just make sure you replace the wire. Um, um, you want it to be facing you, so just right-click it with the wrench. Uh -oh. oh, never mind. Here, I'll, I'll place it. Uh, could you move? Uh, where'd it go? Uh, move more. Okay. There you go. Cool. Okay. Um. Oh. Oh. <laughs> it's night. Ah. Let's sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Good call. Yeah. Um. So anyway, so increases energy drain by sixty percent. So it moves from 1 EU per tick to 1.6 EU per tick, but it, it rounds down, so it's still 1. Okay. And it's exponential, so the next one will increase it by a 60% more. Okay. Um, okay, and so so the thing you want to consider here is that um, a recycler is a low voltage machine, which means that it can take a maximum of 32 EU per tick before it blows up. So you can figure out how many overclocker upgrades you can put in one recycler before you need to put in more current. Okay. Yes. So the goal is to figure out how many overclocker upgrades you can put into it before it starts drawing, before it needs more power. And if it needs more power, it will take in more power if it's available to it, which means it will explode. Okay. So that's 
1.6 I mean, to the power of the number of overclockers mm -hmm. equals 32 possible EU per tick. Let's make that 31 for safety, which means we need the log base 1.6 of 31, or aka log of 31 divided by log of 1.6. We can put in seven overclockers. Yes. You can actually put an eight. <laughs> okay. Yeah. That's not gonna explode anything. Uh, it w it won't because the bat box can ma can output a maximum of thirty two EU per tick. Ah, uh, okay. So in fact, actually, in fact, actually, um, that means that we can only do half of that because we have two recyclers running. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Gotcha. That's and then we, if we want to run it even faster, we're going to need to get something called a transformer upgrade, which will let it take in more EU without exploding. And it seems to be keeping up okay. No, it definitely will. Uh, the, the amount of solar panels we have here is kind of overkill. Okay, perfect. Yeah. And these are low voltage solar panels, by the way. We can upgrade these to, to medium and then high voltage. Okay. Yeah. In any case, I'm going to play around with this... Uh... I'm gonna play around with the loot boxes. Hey, we got a slime ball. We got a slime ball. Damn, yep. one point one four percent chance. Congratulations. Now nice. we don't need to like find slime chunks or anything. Yay! Also, we yeah. found. Uh, also, also, we found like a. Uh, a what? Also, we got some tin dust, some iron dust, and a minecart. And also a coal dust. <laughs> you found a minecart in the recycling box. And a wooden shovel. Dang, how that happened. <laughs> I don't know, it just it just spilled out. Gosh, I love it. Somehow all that dirt had a minecart trapped in it. Yeah. Who knew? Anyways, it's run its course, I think. That, I think that's the only thing we actually need a recycler for. Well Oh wait, no, we need we need tons of scrap for other things, but yeah, we can get we can get more loot boxes if you want. Perfect. Yeah. Okay. I think um Yep, I think this is a good place to pause the episode. Yes, so, and we'll I'm... resume with the next episode in a while. Okay, yeah. perfect. In that case, cool. we'll, we'll do the outro right here, standing on top with the binding machine in the background. Sure. So, thank you all for watching. I have no idea what that sound was. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please let me know. And I'll see you next time. Booyah, futuristic 3D printer mining machine thingamajig. Yeah, it's a quarry.